Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to lay out this Wybrand's transitional duck with a parallel heel and then flat on top as a dimension of 2 by 2 and then 1 by 1 and then one and a half by one first draw line and then measure going to measure one and a quarter two inches and then one and a quarter and then draw line perpendicular to the baseline draw a line perpendicular to the baseline and then label it a and this is B this is our radius I'm going to inscribe an art and Then measure one inch and measure one and a half inch here. Measure one inch and then you can make it one by one. This one is one and one half by one inch. Inscribe an art. This is our crotch. We can label this. Label this C. And highlight. We can highlight it. And highlight then connect. can label this J H I K this one triangle connect PC and then AC This one here, one inch, I can make it two inch, 
by 2H. I'm going to see the true length. Connect this one. Two inches, it runs to one inch. The difference now is the change is one inch. We can make it one inch here for the crouch, one inch, two inch runs to one inch. The, the change is one inch. Full chains, one inch, and then we can connect this. Wait a sec. Just to make the center and then just draw a line here or get the center of this and then get the center of this BH. We can label that G and then label this point E. We're going to make flat. This one is flat on top. This is our first chick outside. And then flat on top. Now we're going to draw a diagram for true length. Vertical leg, then horizontal. Vertical leg, and then the horizontal. Now we're done with our first chick. Has a dimension of one and a half by one. So mean to say this is one inch and then one by one siding is one inch and then two by two to do the second chick draw a line first baseline and then take this distance Transfer here you can make it A. This is B. This is a true length. This is a true length this is a true length this is a true length because one inch runs to one inch and then one inch runs to one inch you're going to connect this then connect This is pull chains. Our pull chains is one inch. This is our full chains, one inch. This one is half inch, and then half. This one is half inch, and is half inch. Going to write the chains 
full change is one inch one inch and they have change this is a full change this is the half change take the distance of ac transfer here to our horizontal leg and then triangulate it to one inch thing as a swing point a describe an art next is take the distance of bc transfer here and then triangulate to full chains and then B as a swing point describe an art This is now point C. I can connect that highlight. And then connect A B. Next is take the dimension or distance of BH. Bring here. And then triangulate to a full change that is one inch. And then as a swing point B, describe an art. And then take the dimension of CH. This is a true length. And then as a swing point C, describe an art. This is now point H. Take the dimension of HI. And then as a swing point H, describe an art. And then take the distance of CI. Describe here. Connect this. And then connect this C I. This is I. Now take the distance of A J. And then transfer to our horizontal leg and then triangulate to full chains then as a swing point a describe an art now take the distance of c and then j J and then describe an art. This is now J. Connect this. Next is take the dimension of JK. This is a true length. Transfer here and then take the distance of CK. As a swing point C, inscribe an art. Then connect this. And then all the way. 
ones and then take the distance of this transfer here been describe an art same as this take this dimension take this distance transfer here and then describe an art this is CK this is K Take the distance of B, G, this one, they're all the same here, A, E, and then G, J, K, they're all the same, we'll transfer here, triangulate it to half chains. Then as a swing point B, describe an art. And then as a swing point H, describe an art. Swing this to as a swing point A. And then This is E, point E, and then this is point G. Can connect this. Connect. We're going to connect this. B, G, and H, and then A, E, and J. We're going to bisect the edge both side then bisect these two bisect so bisect this extend the line Swing point A, describe an arc, both sides, and then the other side, describe an arc here, so swing point J, describe an arc, now connect all the intersections. Make a line, extend it, and then make a line passing through intersections. Make a line, the intersection passing through intersection, then connect this. Now, this intersection is a swing point. We can draw now a line passing through B, G, and H. Highlight. I'm going to connect. Highlight this. 
and highlight. This is our inside pattern. Inside pattern. We can break this. Break this up. This one up. Then we can break this down, break it down. Now we're done with the second second cheek. And then we can add a plants here. We can add quarter here for the plants quarter we can add quarter here and quarter Connect that. Connect this. And then break it down. Can break it down. This one is down. This is a outside pattern, flat on top. We're going to break it up. This is up. This is up. Okay, for the throat radius, throat radius here. We can measure that by a pivot tape. We can measure that by a pivot tape. This one too. We can measure that by pivot tape. But if we're going to use the mathematical formula, we're going to connect this. And then we're going to connect this too. and then find the take your compass put that on zero put this in zero and then the angle is 58 and then put that on zero the angle is 65 here the angle here is 65 and then the angle here is 58 degree extend the line and this is our swing point
to get the art for BGH and then the same thing here when we transfer this dimension this distance and then bring here and then this one extended the intersection now is your sync point for the right heel okay and then this is the formula to get the left stretch out angle is 58 and then 5 times heel radius the answer is 2 and a quarter from here 2 and a quarter or 2 in 1 port for the right heel stretch out the angle is 65 this one is 65 and then divide by 360 times pi times 2 heel radius heel radius is here 2 and 3 quarter or 2.75 this is the answer 3 in 1 3 in 1 8 and then 2 in 1 port this one from here that is 3 in 1 8 from this side from this point until here that is 2 and a quarter For the throw radius, our angle is 90, and then divide that by 360 times pi times 2 throw radius, which the answer is 1.96 or 1.3132, closer to 2 inches. This is now. From here to here, that is 1.96 inches, and then plus the outlines. This is the flat on top, like that. This is flat. Roll it like that. Okay, this one inside pattern, then roll down, break down, break down, this one is break up, break up, break up, this one is the bottom or the inside pattern. We're going to inside pattern. We're going to break down, break down, this one, break down. Here, break down, then break up, break down, then break up. 